Are your unconscious beliefs stopping you from manifesting what you desire? Hello and welcome. My name is Gareth Leek. In today's video, I just want to speak about core beliefs. And when it comes to manifesting, if we have some deep unconscious beliefs there, they can actually block us from getting what we want. For example, say if you grew up and your family wasn't that good with money, and maybe uh, someone's like, oh, rich people are idiots, rich people are assholes, rich people are this. And now you're older and you are wanting to acquire wealth and money, you might have a deep rooted belief that rich people are idiots or wealthy people are the devil. So when you get money or any opportunity of money, you will unconsciously destroy that opportunity, unconsciously spend all your money, you'll get money. Oh, why can't I never say? Why do I never have money? And that's because you might have some deep core beliefs that are on your unconscious mind that money's evil or people with money are evil so each time you have it you might unconsciously think you're evil and you'll get rid of it so it's really good to look at our beliefs you know maybe you it could have a belief around a um the opposite sex or say girls always cheat men always cheat um or whatnot due to an event from the past so now you might only attract that type of person that cheats or is unfaithful or you'll never have luck with the opposite sex or what, you know, someone that you're trying to attract. You might not feel good enough deep down. So you will unconsciously do things to sabotage these opportunities and they won't come to you. And everything's energy. Say if you just see money as an energy currency, it's only going to go where it's welcomed. And if you have these deep-seated blocks in you or these beliefs like when you see someone in a flash car what do you think you know I had to really rewire myself because I had created my own bad money thinking habits and whatnot and so each time I seen someone in a nice car I go oh bless you I wish you even more see someone in a nice house oh like congratulations you did really well in your life um, I'm so happy for you you know in my mind I Every time I'd see someone in a nice dress, I'd be like, oh, you, you look amazing. Yeah, and in my mind, you know, I start give it, sending them loving energy and instead of being like, oh, I wish I had that or they're so lucky or, you know, um, they probably got, got it good growing up or, you know, these beliefs or, you know, now when I see a married couple or whatnot, because that's something that I'd like, you know, I'm manifesting, I'm going to have, so I like, I get really happy for them, and I'm like, oh, that's so wonderful, it's beautiful that, you know, you are married, you have a beautiful house, and like a wee dog, or something, you know, because I can see myself as that, so I wish them more happiness now, and it's what we wish for others, we wish for ourselves. so it's really good to start sending nice, positive vibrations, thoughts, and energy towards people that have things that you are looking to and what's the word bring into your life instead of judging or getting upset or angry or jealous like that envy is the killer of all things if you feel jealous for anyone you know you see them with a, a pretty girl or a, an attractive man or just you know wish them best to be happy for them be happy for them happy 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 and um yeah, because it comes down to our core beliefs. What are we unconsciously? The unconscious rules 99% of our life. And if we have these deep ingrained negative beliefs about things, then that's just going to be what's projected out into our reality and it's what we're going to experience. And we don't want that. So it's good to look at all your beliefs or, you know, if you do see someone in a nice house or with a car or in that, that a job, someone in your workplace that's above you, what are you thinking? Are you sending them positive vibes? Are you like thinking nice thoughts? Or are you like, oh, damn, this person, they're like above me. Why do they get it? You know, are you complaining? Are you arguing in your head? Because this is what you're creating. So if you're wanting to get that new level at the job, you'd best be starting to, you know, start sending them lovely thoughts and wishing them the best. You don't need to do it out loud. You just do it in your mind. Um, your boss, you know, might be really wealthy. You can't be like, oh, rah, rah, rah. 
you know, is you've got to tweak it and start being grateful and happy for them because if you want to achieve that state that they're in or what they've achieved, you're not going to do it thinking negatively because you'll subconsciously never get there. You'll block yourself because if you think this boss of your work is an ass, well, you know, how will you ever get there? Because once you do, you'll think you're a, you'll subconsciously think you're an ass <laughs> or you won't have that car because you think that person of a car is a, a dickhead or whatnot. You know, I see it a lot. People have such a negative mindset towards people who do well. And that's just blocking their own blessings. You're just going to create more lack and hardship for yourself. And you won't attain that, that state. Because, you know, it's like you see people disliking videos and commenting things on some people's videos being mean. It's like, oh, <laughs> don't do that. That's just if you don't like something, just move along type thing. Um, yeah, it's something that I had to really work with and get my mind around because you have to get past all your conditioning, right? Once you start learning about the laws of the mind, you've got all these <laughs> years all these beliefs and stuff that might not even be your beliefs. What are these thoughts you're entertaining? Are they even yours? Like, are they your beliefs? Are they your parents? Are they your teachers? Are, you, are they your friends? What, you know? Are you hanging around people that always complain and are negative and run people down and never have anything good to say? You're going to become the average of them. You know, if you're hanging around five idiots, you're going to be the sixth one. You're hanging around five enlightened people, you'll be the sixth one. You know, you're hanging around people who are good with money, then you're going to adopt their habits through the mirror neurons, through the energy being in that field. Who, where's your environment? Who are you hanging out with? Is it, is it good? These are just thoughts to think about. Because I, I know it's really helped me. Because as I've shared many times, I'm building up my um, money consciousness and material like to attract that because it's something that I desire because I know it will help me help more people and I feel that's a really good way so when I see people with money I get excited you know oh congratulations oh very nice very nice like where in the past I would have been a bit jealous <laughs> but now I know the the power of my thoughts and emotions and how attractive they are I've switched my mind and my state and yeah, I just wish everyone the best. Wish them even more. Wish you even more. You made $100,000. I wish you a million. <laughs> yeah. hope that kind of helps get you thinking a little bit. It's really good to look at our, our beliefs. Write them down. I made a really nice video about changing beliefs. I'll put it up here. or pop up somewhere. Um, how to change our beliefs. and Because once we change our beliefs and change our thoughts, we change our world. And it's very powerful. But yeah, wish people the best. Just And try to keep your mind just on good report and happy thoughts. And even if you slip into, you know, catch yourself. Don't judge it. Just be like, okay, this is just a state. Revise it so it didn't happen. And the mind and body don't know the difference between the thought and the event. So I think it's truth. And we just keep recreating the past. So if we change that, we're going to recreate the new yeah i love you and i hope you had a beautiful day today or whatever you're doing and i hope you're smiling right now and i wish you all the wealth happiness joy and health and abundance and i hope you have a beautiful life may peace be on your soul and i'll see you in the next video goodbye